Where are we off to? Um, a trail. What's the trail called? I don't know. I forget. We think it's called the McLeod Wetlands. And it's after dinner, and we thought we'd go and check it out in Vandehoof, BC. Yeah, oh, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> We made it to the W.L. McLeod wetlands. I'll show you around in a second, but just so you know, it's right across from a school. So there's plenty of parking over there, but there's also parking along the street here. Right off the bat, there is a platform with some information different plants, different birds, animals, you might see. It is still spring and so not all the foliage have bloomed. Still looking pretty dry and barren and brown and, but it's quite nice in the summer. At the beginning of the trail, there's some more information about Bill McLeod and the wetlands. And there's the platform we were just on and we'll get started. There's a bridge and I'm supposed to show you this. I guess it's cute. Oh, thanks for calling me cute. You're so kind. I would never refer you as an it. It is kind of cold out here. And there's a small bridge that's very helpful for this informational walk. <laughs> well, the bridge, is, <laughs> the bridge is important so you don't walk in the wetlands. Yeah, just make sure to walk on the bridge and not around it. <laughs> the bridge is for walking, don't worry. I was gonna say what great advice you give. I do give great advice. And then there's this little dock. You are allowed to bring your dogs. Mm -hmm. um, do they have to be on leash? I don't know if she's... Do you know that for sure? No. I don't think so. I don't think they have to be on leashes. I haven't seen any dogs must be on leash. I found a caterpillar. <laughs> I got you so good. I don't even know what this is. I found it on the ground. I think it's a pussy willow. Okay. The trail does go right behind an elementary school. There are outhouses, and I believe these are the only outhouses on the trail. Um, so I don't really know if these are actually usable. I'm thinking no. Maybe they have plans on fixing it. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure that's pretty usable. I would just go in the bush. <laughs> There's no door, but that's okay. Like, that's whatever you want to do. There's a garbage right behind me. Use it. Wait. What are we waiting for? So the sign. What does the sign say? Are those all the disc golf? The disc golf. Oh, okay. Doesn't take me long <laughs> to figure this out. So you can play disc golf on this trail. Okay, so for those who, who are wondering what disc golf is, you're not alone, because I'm also wondering what disc golf is. Uh, you could play throughout the field here. This is one of the nets. I don't really know if you call that a net. Like we were kind of just in the open spot. There's where we came from, and now we're actually heading more into the the non-open spaces? I don't even know how you would call that. What does Zoe see? This is a good spot for sprinting. Do you want to show us how the sprinting is done? Yeah. All right. I noticed that with this trail, there's a lot of forks in the road. I think this way goes to the greenhouse, doesn't it? 
we're actually gonna go this way. But this way is a short walk and then you get to a, not a greenhouse, a community garden. But all along this trail, you can get to the river fairly easily, I would say. Hey, what do you think? All throughout? Let's see if I can zoom up on them. I'm not sure how well my camera's going to zoom up. But you can definitely hear them. Couple Canadian geese. Walk down this trail for a little bit and see what we can find. Hey? Okay. For some reason, we keep doing these um, excursions, if you will, when it's not, like nothing is blooming yet. So, well, on the side of the road, it's blooming yeah, a lot. Yeah, well, just, you know, picture it. Like, this is usually lush and green. Like, green. This green, looks green. like where someone would get killed in a horror movie. <laughs> Nobody's going to get killed, but it does kind of give you that vibe. So. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. No, no, wait. I have to just say something. So our first video, we did it and we watched it back and we gave each other constructive criticism. And Zoe said, I say so too much, but I just got to point out, I think she has said so like three times so far at the beginning. So have you. Let's count back on that. Actually, I might not be able to. That might not be a good idea. She's my editor. Yeah, but I can like duplicate duplicate you saying so <laughs> ten times over. Here, I'll say it right now. So, so, and then you enter it in right now. Anyway, so we, here's the we disc. Found disc look, look. Should. I don't know how to play disc golf. Read up on the rules. The rules were at the beginning. So, I'm no expert, but I'm believing maybe this was made from a beaver because you can see all the, like, it almost looks like teeth marks. Don't quote me on that, but that might have been a beaver then. Justin Beaver. Okay, so, okay, we have another fork. Did you just say so? I said okay, so. Okay, so. So we have a fork to the right? That's the left, sweetheart. Or no, it's not. This one. this one? L. Left. This one just. The wrong from. side of the L is right. <laughs> and down here we have a nice trail to the river. But look how nice it'd be to live there or something like that. Right along. I don't know. Um, a little bit of green. We just came from there, but all throughout this trail, there's lots of little areas that you can walk down to the river, the Nechaco River, if you so wish. Right? Huh? Smile. It looks good on you. What's that smile. It looks good on you. <sighs> <laughs> so we're almost at the end of the trail. The vlog that we put out the other day. When we went under the bridge and we pointed out and you said there's the McLeod Wetlands Trail. Yeah, that's that the was one. right after the bridge. I was at the boat launch. Mm -hmm. So right that's where we are right now. And you just come out here. And so there's the bridge, under the bridge, the boat launch. And yeah, the campsites are right across. Riverside campsites are right across. Oh, okay, we lied, you guys. I shouldn't say we lied. Zoe lied. Dogs on leash, Nobody scoop and scoop. Does. You should probably put your dog on a leash anyway. Really, you never know. Garbage, and then no dirt bikes, no snowmobiles, no ATVs, biking, skiing, horse ride, hiking is allowed. And so the other day, we showed you guys this, the Riverside Park, and then 
now we just we walked through here so it's all connected so yeah if you're camping and you want to go for a little a little hike what is I mean it's not really a hike it's pretty easy all right and now we're gonna go back to where we started Zoe's a little concerned because she she felt three raindrops and apparently that's a bad thing because she's so sweet. She's made out of sugar and she's going to melt. It is raining though. And that makes Zoe so happy. It does. I like it. You like dancing in the rain? Mm -hmm. We need the rain. We need the rain. This is very true to make all of this brown turn green. One good thing about the leaves not being out yet, well, Besides, there's no mosquitoes, but you can see a bunch of nests in the trees. There's one there, but I've seen quite a few already on our walk. So that's kind of neat. My thoughts on the W.L. McLeod wetlands is it's a very nice short walk. It took us 15 minutes. We timed ourselves from the end of the, like when we came out to the bridge to the car was like 14 minutes and like 16 seconds or something. And so it's like what, half an hour round trip. And it was very like at a leisurely piece pace not peace pace so I like that it's nice and quick if you're not wanting to commit to a big walk and I like that it's secluded even though Zoe's always very afraid that the secluded parts are where the shooters hang out but they don't hang out there they don't, they don't hang out, out anywhere I was gonna say they don't hang out anywhere they just jump at you or at random right sure. but yeah that's what I like about it. Flat ground, so again, if you can't handle, if your body can't handle tough terrain, it's a very easy walk. And it's nice in the summertime, like it's it's way nicer in the summertime actually. But yeah. And if you like disc jockey, disc golf, disc jockey. If disc you like golf. if you like disc golf, this is the place to go. Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice walk. That's it. What do you think? What do you like about it? It's open, like it's wide. What do you mean it's wide? Because I can't walk straight. <laughs> like I'm all over the place, so if you're one of those people, it's wide. Um, um, yeah, um, <laughs> you could ride your bikes side by side. Oh, if you had two bikes. I thought you said you could bring your side by side. But you can't bring your side by side. It, it's beside water. That's always nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's beside water. You can horse ride, which it's kind of a con country place. Vanuvis, so that's good. If you're into that. I don't know how you get your horses down here now. Trailer. Or you ride them down. <laughs> we're not but horse people. We don't know what we're talking about. Can't ride them down the sidewalk. So. Yeah, there's not much to say about it because it's really just, it's like a short trail. You can see birds. You can see river. You can walk along the river too. You can walk if it's not too high. Yeah. W.L. McLeod Wetlands in Van Hoof, BC. Nature, nature trails. Check it out. Well, from the um, boat launch, it said the nature trails, and then right here it says W.L. McLeod Wetlands. So, you can make whatever of that. I don't know. I don't understand what you're trying to say right now. The sign? When you came into the, um, came into the trails from the bridge, the sign said nature trails, and here it says, wait. So well, I wonder, I wonder if this just right here is the wetlands then. Um, I don't know. There's a map. Uh, we never read the information. Maybe we should read the information when we do these things before we start pretending to know what we're talking about. Anyways, it's the end of the road for us and we'll catch you later.